Number 18. The initial concentrations or pressures of reactants and products are given for each of the following systems. Then we have to calculate the reaction quotient and determine the direction in which each system will proceed to reach equilibrium. Then we have letter F. Now, I see that we have a balanced equation here, right? I see that we have a 2 a coefficient, so I'm going to assume this is balanced. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just write the formula a little bit bigger so that we can work with it. So we got nitrogen gas plus oxygen gas. When these come together and go to equilibrium, we get 2 NO gas. The next thing is, is that they told me starting molarity values. Remember, concentrations is the same thing as molarities. The C in KC stands for concentration. So I'm just going to write down the molarity values that they gave me. So they told me that I had 0.1 molarity for N2, so 0.011 molarity. The O2, I have 0.200 molarity. And then for my product, I have one molarity here. Okay. So first thing we got to do is we got to find the reaction quotient, right? I can't really guesstimate which direction we're going because initially we're starting off with all numbers. So I can't really guess. I got to find the Q value. Now we've done tons of problems figuring out how to find or write the Q expression. So this will just be a little bit more practice. And remember, before you write the formula, just make sure only aqueous and gases are allowed. But in this case, I see that I got a gas, a gas, and a gas. So all of these are going to be in my formula. Products divided by reactants. Since we're working with coefficients, or not coefficients, concentrations, I need brackets. That's the standard for concentration. So I got NO, close the bracket. And remember, they have to be raised to their coefficients. I see that I have a 2 here, so I'm just going to raise this to the second. Now let's work with the bottom. I have bracket. I got the concentration of N2. And there's no number in front of here. Remember, that means that it's just 1. So you can raise it to the first, but anything raised to the first is the same. Now, with the Q formula, they're being multiplied by each other. In the balanced equation, it's addition. But when you use your formula, they're multiplied by each other. So now I have O2 coming in. And the same thing goes here. I don't see a coefficient, so that's a 1. So I don't have to really raise it. Now let's plug in the numbers. So the product would be 1.00, and that's squared, divided by... The N2 was 0 0.100, and then the O2 was 0 0.200. Close that up. Let's just do this. Maybe let's bring this a little bit over. And now let's see, what's the numerator and what's the denominator? The QC equals. The top is just going to be 1, right? And then what's the bottom? 0 0.1 times 0 0.2, I get... Uh, 0 0.02, maybe I'll just extend the couple of zeros if we want to include the sig figs, but who cares? <laughs> QC equals whatever this is, 1 divided by 0 0.02. I get 50. So if you wanted to keep the uh, sig figs, this would be 50.0, but I don't really care. So I'm just going to leave it as 50. Now, we take this information and compare it with the K to see which way we're going. There is a little trick, guys. If you want to use the trick, put the QC on the right-hand side and the KC value on the left. I got 50, and they told me that I had 0 0.050 for the KC. Now, remember what we said about the K being less than 1. That means that at equilibrium, we want to favor the reactant side. But in this case, we have a way bigger number. 
Big numbers greater than one means that we have way more products. So if I want more reactants and I have way more products, if I want more of this and I have this, which direction are we gonna go? Yeah, we need to make more reactants. We're going to the left. Now, we also can just make a, a comparison here. Now, if we just fill this in, we could say that the KC is less than the Q. And then you see this? Treat this as an arrowhead. Bring it back. Look at that. Look at that direction, guys. We're going this way. And that's exactly what we just said before. We are shifting to the left, or proceeding to the left, or doing the reverse reaction. They all mean the same exact thing. You can also see it down here. If the KC is less than the Q, that means that you have way more products than you need. You gotta get rid of the products. So you shift in the reverse direction. Hopefully this helped. I really hope it did. Let me know in the comments. Love talking to you guys. If you want to help us out, please press the subscribe button. That's it. Thank you so much for that. Just gets the word out there that this cool service exists. And I think it's pretty cool. What do you guys think? Hopefully, hopefully this helped. And I'll see you all in later lessons. Okay, bye-bye.